Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ark Survival Guide. We are live again and uh, yeah, let me know if you can see and hear me and you might notice things are a little bit different. I'm going to catch you up to speed and uh, tell you what we've been doing, but check out the view in our new adobe house. It's much more spacious, much more sturdy, and as you can see, we're very high up hanging over the oasis, so it's going to be really hard for anything to get to us and mess with us. So, last time we streamed, we tamed this wolf, which I'm going to name Mint, and uh, well, yeah, let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Um, tell me in chat. You need to be a subscriber to be able to chat, and uh, let me go ahead and boost this guy's stamina a little bit more, because we are going out on a mission right now. That's right. I'm going to show you guys around the base in a minute when we get back, but right now, for the first time in a long time, it's not burning or freezing, which means it's time to get out of here and see if we can get some metal. And while we're on the journey, I'm going to catch you guys up a little bit. So, first off, uh, I played a little bit offline this morning and did a gathering quest where I gathered 6,000 fiber next to the town. That's right, 6,000. It took a little time, but man, was it worth it because I unlocked everything we need for Adobe. And uh, I'm going to have to keep an eye on my stamina here. We unlocked everything we need for Adobe. So with the new season, the way it works is in order to get coins, you have to complete quests, and you can use those coins as engram points or trade them with other monarchs. So... I got a hundred coins from gathering 6,000 fiber at the town, turned that in offline, and uh, was able to get a bunch of engram points to unlock a bunch of good stuff, including the smithy. Here we go. Okay, I thought there was some metal somewhere here. And check it out. Alright, let's see if we can get this before something kills us. I need as much metal as I can carry on this first run. All right, just enough to get almost overweight. All right, how are we doing? Dumping the rocks. How much? How much can we carry? I think this is it. We gotta. We gotta be able to move fast. This is just the first bit of metal we need. I am going to uh, light it up in the forge, and I'm going to avoid all of this nasty stuff that I just rode over. Okay. Yep. Good times. Good times. It starts already. I, uh, I don't think we've really ever gone more than, like, 30 seconds before something's attacked us out here on Scorched Earth. But now that we have a wolf, we can do stuff like this. Whee! <laughs> I love the dire wolf! I really do, it's amazing. Ooh, uh, I do have to be careful, though, because it's so good at jumping that I might jump right off a cliff if I'm not careful, so. Yeah, um, I am gonna need more hide, though, so I think I will try and trap that dire bird. So, uh... Hey, hi, howdy. Hey, Lisa, Michael, Alex, Ulyss, welcome. Big Little Bite, welcome. Good to see all of you guys. Okay, so um, let me show you around a little bit in a second. I've got to start smelting up some metal. But the first thing is, I've changed up the way you get into the base. Now it's parkour only. <laughs> so most of the things that I unlocked, all of them, except the scorpion, um all of my creatures can jump. I got Iguanodons, Wolves, Jerboas, which just ride on your shoulder, and uh, yeah. Okay, check this out. We got metal in the forge. I've got some wood over here. I probably am going to need to actually go out and get some more wood, but let's just start this and get this lit up and start making some metal here, you guys. Check it out. We are smelting metal already. I, I think I've played like five or six hours total now, um, but we've we've been making some really good progress. So, oh, I don't like the sound of that. Is this a sandstorm again? Okay, in, in that case, let me show you guys the view real quick, and then we'll get back inside before the sandstorm blocks everything we can see. So check this out. This is our view in our new home. We're at the top of this beautiful canyon, and uh, we're right on top of an oasis, which is, you know, full of water, which is what oasis is, oases are all about. So uh, let me go ahead. Oh, no. I just realized the sandstorm keeps you from jumping very well, doesn't it? It makes you really slow. Okay, okay, this is going to be a problem, actually, if I can't jump up on this thing. <laughs> 
Uh, I might, I might have just found one little flaw with my base design. Can we do this? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so look on the top of the screen. It says you're tired. Stop moving, right? So when a sandstorm kicks up in scorched earth, it saps your stamina to the point where I can no longer jump. So let me close this door. We're inside now. Um, yeah, I just discovered live uh, the one fatal flaw with my base design. So I set it up so you have to jump to get into it so no wild creatures can like path their way up on top of my little mountain and come in and visit because, you know, I don't really want any wild creatures visiting my base. So uh, this should be extremely safe. We've got, you know, a high cliff up there. Things shouldn't be falling onto it, but even if they do, we're up high on this mountain, which is real helpful. But uh, I didn't want it to be where, like, I had a ramp going down and stuff could, like, walk up the ramp and get to me. So I made it so you have to jump to land on the raft and or the ramp. And I, that should keep anything from being able to get up here. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just stay inside. It's a terrible sandstorm. This was great timing. So this leads me to one of my other missions for today, which is tame a jerboa. Because uh, jerboas can warn you when there's, like, a storm coming. And that's uh, really good to know on Scorched Earth, because on Scorched, storms will just blow in out of nowhere, and then you're in real trouble. Okay, let me put out the fire for a second, because we've got a little bit of metal, and I'll catch you guys up a little bit more in a second. So let's do this and that, and let's see. So I unlocked a smithy and a forge, and let's see what we need for this. All right, five metal ingots, great. We've got our stone, plenty of stone, hide. No, we don't have the hide we need. Okay. I was afraid of that. I figured something would be missing. It's just, it would it would be going way too smoothly otherwise. <laughs> Look at all the sand I've got in my inventory. It just piles up during a sandstorm because that's, that's the desert for you. So, we're going to have to go hunt something so that we can, uh, you know, actually do more of this. But I know that I've got enough wood, so we're going to burn the rest and turn that all into metal. We'll go back out for more metal soon. Uh, yeah, so let me catch you guys up a little bit while we're waiting. Hey, Splat, welcome. So, uh, yeah, let me just look out the window here for a second. We're still waiting for the sandstorm to clear out, which is, it's so much better looking out at an oasis from our beautiful house instead of like being in a tent somewhere. So uh, yeah, we, we uh, completed a quest, unlocked some engrams, got to where we could make adobe, and then I spent probably about an hour or so um, just going around in that little pool in the oasis and just grabbing handfuls of sand and clay and all that stuff, crafting it into clay with all the cacti around here. There's cactus sap everywhere up here. Um, so far, I've put down a little bit of foundation spam where I've seen some creatures spawning and nothing has attacked us since, which has been, uh, I haven't seen anything dangerous spawn up here, which is awesome. Is it safe to go back outside yet? Because we need to hunt some stuff. It is, okay, great. So, um, I'm gonna try out that trap that I set up. So this is our home. We have a pretty huge, it's a three by three at this point, which is pretty huge for a starter base. It's gonna probably last us for a while. And we have actually unlocked the desert silk, the desert cloth gear, which is made of silk. And the other nice thing about this place up here is we have tons of silk up here. Like, the entire area is covered in silk plants. They have these, like, pink or uh, purplish flowers. It's like a pinkish purple. Okay. Let's see. Wait. Oh, 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 no. I want that moth. Hold on. Okay. Let's just see if we can get this terror bird in here. I don't want to attack the Dodicarus. I'm going to try not to hit him. Can I hit the terror bird without killing the Dodicarus? Because if I hit the Dodicarus... He's gonna come after us. I, I just, it's just something wrong about killing a Dodicarus. I don't know. Okay, looks like that thing's getting low on health. I'm trying to time this while it's getting knocked back. Okay. You know what? Let's just do this. The Dodicarus might be able to help us a little bit. Okay, here we go. Terror birds after the Dodicarus. There we go. All right, all right. So far, so good. What are you after, buddy? A 25 terror bird. Let me know how the volume is. Is it too loud? Oh, dude, that's a Carno. Okay. Don't want him. No, thank you. I hear a Jerboa. 
but I don't. Oh, oh, he's cool. He is very cool. Where is that Carno? All right, we're just gonna try this, guys. Level 55 Jerboa. He's already warning us about something wrong. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Okay, he's asleep. Now, um, where'd the Carno go? I don't like having a Carno where I don't know where it is. All right, all right, so far so good. I think we're okay. Okay, uh, let me get back a little bit, and I'm going to grab some berries and put them on the Jerboa and see if we can tame that guy up before the Carno comes back and eats him, because that's going to happen any minute. Um, yeah, so Jerboas are awesome. Um, they actually alert you if there is weather coming, and he was just doing that, which means we need to get back to shelter pretty quickly. Probably. I don't really know the Jerboa signals yet. Um, I'm trying to get some Mejo Berries, and I'm not seeing any, so I'm just going to put whatever I've got. I don't really care about the level of the Jerboa. He's only a level 55. If he was higher, I would try to, uh, you know, get something a little bit better. I'd try to get some better attaining effectiveness and stuff. Oh, that's really nice to be able to check the health from the wolf. All right. So let's just give him some stuff. I don't know. Green sounds good. Blueberries. I'm sure he'll love all of that. Oh, wait, he's, he's already taming pretty fast. Wait, is that a juvenile? Can I claim that? Hey, buddy. Oh, he's got a little juvenile here. All right, um, I suddenly want to protect this Jerboa even more now. Uh, okay. The taming is going. It's working so far. I don't see, yeah, okay. I'm gonna call it radar for now. Let me know in chat, you guys. Uh, do you have a good idea for a name for this little Jerboa? Check it out. I'm going to put him on my shoulder. And then I'm going to see if I can claim this guy. Can I claim you? Come here. Yes. Okay. And uh, we're going to lead this guy away from the Carno ASAP. Like, as fast as we possibly can. All right. Come on, little guy. He's so tiny. He's so cute. All right. We're going to get this guy away from the Carno, and then we'll take a look at him again. Um, yeah. Come on. Come on. So, um... Let me see, I'm gonna try to put some berries on him. I can't remember if you actually have to, uh, you know, put berries on a juvenile like this. Let's see here, can I access your inventory? Come here. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna give him these. Um, oh, here, have those, all right. Just enough to make sure you're not gonna die, and please follow me this way. Come with me if you want to live. Okay, so we're gonna lead this guy back to our base. He's so cute, you guys. We've already got two Jerboas. What do you guys think about this little tiny Jerboa? So we have this bright green. I, I love the colors here, look at him. So we've got the Easter event live. Oh, there's the baby caught up. All right, I am not gonna be able to do this in K mode. All right, come on, come on, this way. Can you make it, can you figure it out? I love the new pathing system, it's so much better. As I say that, he's stuck. Um, come here, little guy. Okay, there we go. Maybe it was just lag, hopefully. All right, he seems to be making it. All right. So uh, we still might have... Uh, let me get a little bit of melee damage on this guy, because that was painful to watch. That was... He is so weak against level 10 terror birds. All right, come on, come on. <laughs> They're not very fast on their feet. All right, I'm going to catch up on chat in a second. Oh, I think I can hear a storm coming. Thank you, Jerboa, for letting me know. Really, little guy? Come on. Come on. Hopefully I didn't like overweight him with uh with stuff. Alright, I just want to get him back to safety over here. He'll probably be fine as long as he's in this section. I haven't had anything spawn up here since I started setting down foundations. So uh yeah, here he goes. Come on, come on. Alright. So, uh, you guys in chat, let me know if you have a good name for this cool green Jerboa that we just tamed. So we uh I don't know if you guys have uh uh, for those of you who are just joining us, um, so in the monarchy season, we are only allowed to tame what we have a taming license for, and I was sure I was going to get, like, the worst creatures, because I do not have the best luck on random draws, but I got dire wolves, iguanodons, scorpions, and jerboas, which is, like, three out of four of my top picks. I mean, that's, that's amazing, and the scorpion's useful, too. Like, you can tame stuff with scorpions very helpful. I'm just gonna let this guy make his way down here. All right, you'll be fine right there. You just, you just stop. All right, here we go. Stop all. Okay, so we're gonna let that little Jerboa grow up. We put some food on him. We'll keep an eye on that. And we should now have enough hide to make a smithy on the wolf. That's right. 
I think the wolf is still going to get more hide than uh, many of my tools right now, but that is all about to change with metal tier. I am so excited, guys. Metal is like one of the biggest things you can do in ARC. Once you go metal, once you go metal, you never go back, right? <laughs> so, uh, all right, let's see here. Let's get the smithy crafting. Um, I actually don't know what weather is coming our way, but there's supposed to be something bad according to the Jerboas, according to the weather readings. So uh, I am talking a little quieter because it is late, just so you guys know. Um, but I'm just as excited to be streaming with you guys and hanging out on a Saturday night. That's really cool. Oh, check it out. All right, so we gained a level. And uh, I'm still trying to decide what to do with my life. I think I'm gonna get a little bit more health, actually. So, uh, let's see here. Oh, I keep forgetting there's a nanny in this. That was uh, one of the items in the engram list was a nanny. All right, so I'm putting this smithy right over here so that I can park my creatures. All right, let's try to get this lined up nicely. And let's see. I think that looks a little better, doesn't it? There we go. Okay, so now I can run in here. Am I overweight? Yeah, I'm overweight. Actually, I'm gonna dump all of my stuff in here instead because we've got a smithy now. This is so exciting. So smithies can hold 75 items instead of like, I don't know, 15 in these storage boxes. So that is a huge help right there. Um, all right, what am I so overweight with? Another cool thing about Jerbo is, is they can apparently actually help you hold stuff in your inventory. Oh, berries, that's probably what I've got so many of. I do have a lot of arrows too. It does actually add up. And picked up some cactus sap on the way, too. That's great. All right, so it is nighttime out. Is that what the Jerboa was saying? Like, I, I haven't seen any storms happening yet. Um, we'll, we'll see if that's a thing. I don't know, actually. <laughs> so I'm just going to do some quick inventory management. I promise I won't be doing this for very long. I'm just going to do a little, little quick stuff over here because we have some really exciting stuff that we can make now. I should have seen that coming. We are encumbered again. All right, hold on. Probably that. Woo! All right. That means it's officially nighttime. So uh, since we're in Adobe, it's going to keep us cool and warm when we're inside. Oh, by the way, this whole plateau is covered in silk flowers. While I was doing everything else, I was gathering silk flowers, and we've got a ton of them now. I'm actually going to hang on to that. Okay, so check this out, you guys. Desert armor. That's what this was all about. All of these steps led up to this. So now we can craft desert armor which has heat resist and cold resist and this stuff is going to keep us alive we can do some serious styling now too i'm going to start by making a suit for myself but i'm hoping soon i can bring this to some other monarchs to help them out because i have died more times what's that little guy something coming out here is that just his normal jerboa thing I don't know. I need to learn how to speak Jerboa, but okay, check this out. What is our resistance now? Cold resist, 340. Heat resist, 554. If that doesn't keep us alive, I don't know. All right, let's see here. There's an emote to hide my hat, isn't there? Hold on a second. Hide hat, yeah. I need to do like a full, you know, dyeing my hair, making myself look awesome, you know. Maybe I'll just do a cowboy hat. You guys want a cowboy hat? How about a rancher hat? Maybe, uh, maybe an outlaw shirt, outlaw pants. I mean, that's not really my thing, but uh, these actually look a little better. So let's try this. So we got cosmetics, right? We, they, they should be in here. Oh, okay. They're over here. Uh, oh, we have to use one fiber to craft each one. Okay, we can handle that. All right. So let's make ourselves some skins so we can actually look... Uh, oh, this actually uses some hide. Okay, we'll make it happen. So we're going to make some skins, make ourselves look a little bit more Western. I'm not I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do the, the southern accent, I don't think. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll spare you the, the pain of that. But at least we've got some good stuff now. So check it out. We're crafting some uh, some skins. So you craft the skins in the inventory. Oh, what do we need for the nanny? Giant bee honey. Okay, that's a problem. 
that's gonna be tough to get, but that is a high priority to get that nanny so we can start breeding stuff. So check it out. We just decked out our desert cloth. And now... Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's actually show our hat. <laughs> now we look like an actual cowboy. Yeah! So it's nighttime. Um, it's actually a little bit better at night. Uh, yeah, let me let me catch up a little bit. Yeah, Jerboas have a decent weight for uh, a shoulder pet. And uh, what do you say, guys? Do you want to go out and see if we can tame something or at least uh, hunt something? That Carno out there, um, I that kind of want to. <laughs> I kind of want to try to wrangle with that Carno a little bit, but uh, you know. All right, so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and put this on my belt so I can see when I'm running around. Did you know, did you guys know you can do that? You right click on the torch and say, put on belt or remove from belt. And that basically turns you into a little torch. So now I can, I can run around and show stuff. All right, so we're gonna leave radar here. Stop all. Can we whistle passive? There we go. And now we'll leave our Jerboas here. Oh, yeah, I guess that's what the uh, Jerboa was freaking out about. So, does anybody know what kind of storm we are about to ride out into? Let me gamma up a little bit. Here we go. So that's going to make it a bit easier to see out here, because I want to go back get some more metal, because we're about ready to make metal tools. Actually, you know what? That would be very helpful to make metal tools right now, come to think of it. <laughs> Let's do that before we go out. I'll catch up on chat a little bit more while we're making these. So, after doing one quest, I got enough engram points to unlock most of this stuff. I'm gonna remove that from my belt to, uh, you know, save a little bit. Uh, but, check this out. Got a metal pick. And we don't have enough metal ingots, or do we? Hey, hey there we go, 26, okay. What can we do with this? We need seven metal ingots for a crossbow. Guess what we have, you guys? We are about to be decked out, and this is going to be a game changer right here. Now we can get into the metal tier, and uh, swapping out a regular bow for a crossbow is a game changer, you guys. Uh, this is actually one of the big reasons I picked the... Uh, there were a lot of reasons I picked this base location, to be fair. But another of the really big reasons is this is... Um, I've got a metal source right to the uh, west of us? Yeah. So, uh... We now have metal. I've got a, a water skin. Maybe I should take like two of them out there. I mean, it's it's raining. Never mind. Um, <laughs> never mind. I think that's a rainstorm going on right now. Can you guys see okay, or does it need to be brighter? My screen's kind of bright. Is that better? Let me know in chat what you guys think. I'm gonna grab some extra water. We're gonna go out and try to fight or tame some stuff. And uh, if I can get a tameable creature into the trap, we'll try to tame it. Otherwise, we'll try to fight some stuff. And uh, let's do this, you guys. I need to start breeding Jerboas, because um, I'm sure a lot of people that don't have them are going to want them. So let me know if you guys see a cool-looking Jerboa out there. And uh, check this out. I'm not even that cold, and it's got to be freezing up here. So we're going to launch out into the frontier and go, go tame some stuff. All right. So I also uh, revamped my trap a little bit, so check this out. My trap is now made of adobe, and uh, that's hopefully, oh, lag spikes can be deaf out here, that was, that was a little bad. Alright, so uh, we're gonna go see if we can find something to hunt and or tame. Let me know if you guys see a cool looking wolf, there's a dodicarus, there's another jerboa. I guess if I was smart, I would be actually, uh, okay, level 20 female. What's this one? Male? Does anybody remember? Oh, wow. Another male, okay. Can anybody tell me on chat what um, what gender of Jerboa we just tamed? I really should have checked. Dodicarus, could you be, like, anywhere else? Absolutely anywhere would be fine. Okay, of course. You're just gonna run right into the one thing I don't want to hit. I mean, 
Well played. Well, oh, <laughs> did not mean to take that last hit. Okay, I'm so sorry, Jerboa. And I forgot to grab berries. Okay, hold on a second. Let me just grab a few berries, try to tame this guy up real quick. Jerboas are not a real big deal because they're so easy to tame. They're just they're just kind of like uh, dodos or something, you know. So let's let's just see if that's enough. We're just gonna leave that one alone and go on about our business. Oh, Sabretooth, great. All right, let's try this. Okay, and try to lead him away from the Jerboa. Let's see if we can get down here. These wolves just fly. It's crazy. Um. Oh. Oh, what is... Oh, he must be attacking a Jerboa. Okay, hold on. Let's just go down this way. I'm gonna test out this trap, because I'm gonna need to, uh... need to test it on some other stuff, too. Whoa! Like, I almost flew off a cliff right there. Okay. So far, so good! That is not bad, you guys. Not bad. It didn't quite work perfectly, but, uh, you know, did the trick. And let's make sure he can't escape out the other way. Looking pretty good. So I found a ledge. Actually, uh, chat gave me an excellent suggestion there. <laughs> and, uh, I found a ledge that, uh, can be used as a pitfall because creatures will path around your structures. But if there's a little ledge like that, They'll hop right down, and it's uh, it's pretty nice. So uh, yeah, so we're making some progress here, and it looks like we just tamed that Jerboa, and uh, that's great news. So we'll grab it here, and let's go get some more metal, and keep an eye out for other stuff, because I need a male wolf ASAP. We need to start breeding this thing. And uh, let's see, how are we doing for food and water? Pretty good, pretty good. All right. What was that? Every time I hear a roar or something, I like, you know, panic a little bit, look around for what's causing it. Okay, we got a thorny dragon down there. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna see if I can get back to that metal node and get some serious metal. All right, how are we looking here? Okay, I got an RG over there. It's very cold. Gotta keep an eye on my health, because I'm about to start losing it. About to start losing it! Alright, I really want this though. Is anything chasing me? Yes, of course they are. Everything's always chasing you in the desert. Alright. One down. <laughs> Did you, guys... <laughs> you guys see that? So I shot one ant and the other one was like, nope, never mind. <laughs> he just took off. Okay. So. I actually really want this moth. I don't know if I can take him down in one shot. Nope, glad I bulleted him. All right, there's two. All right. Did I just hear a wolf? No, okay. I, I tell you what, every time I hear something, I'm just like, what was that? <laughs> Literally scared the poo out of me. Okay, I am starving. Check that out. 500 silk. I am going to make so much silk. So many silk clothes. Okay. So that's great. We got that going here. Uh, let's see. Where was that metal? It's, it's down here a little bit. So I am always going to kill every moth that I possibly can because that is, uh, that's our ticket to getting lots of desert cloth. And as you can see here, we're like, we're not dying of cold or heat right now. So that is, that's the first time this entire series I haven't been dying of cold or heat at any given moment. All right, got some stuff around here. I, I know Jerboa, it's like when you check the weather, uh, like when you check the weather uh, app and it's like 90% chance of rain and you look outside and it's raining already. Oh, great. Okay, hold on. I always forget to reload my crossbow. Alright. Are they all just leaving? Okay. That's fine. I can handle that. Alright. Need to have my wolf in go position because we got a saber tooth. Well, he's pretty close. 
I think I'm just gonna try to kill that saber tooth. All right, let's do this. I actually have enough hide to get more bolas. So let's do that, and then this. Really, ants? It's really hard to see at nighttime like this. I am so happy to finally have a crossbow. This is absolutely my weapon of choice. I like this even better than, uh, I guess I should load that real quick. I like crossbows even better than guns because, uh, you can get the ammo so much more easily. All right, let me just eat these ants. I'm, I'm tired of looking at them, especially this one that looks like a jelly bean. I mean, it's kind of awesome. I'll give you that, but it does look like a jelly bean. Okay. Everything good? Yes. All right. Get some hide. Beautiful. All right. We are almost overweight, so I'm actually going to come back for that metal. Oh, that was kind of scary. Did you guys see that? Um, I just saw a red X just appear on my screen and then disappear. Which means most likely something really nasty just one shot killed something. And I don't really want to be there for that. So, let me get this back to base real quick. We got some good stuff. We got a new Jerboa. We're about to find out if uh, I can actually breed with my other one because I can't remember what I tamed. But hopefully we'll have some babies to bring to the other monarchs soon, which is going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, I should hopefully have enough... <laughs> They're so cute, aren't they? All right. I should hopefully have enough um, hide to make some more desert cloth, which is going to be really helpful. All right. You got anything on you? Oh, a good bit of chitin and a lot of meat. That's awesome. Okay. Let's do this. Why am I using these boxes? I've got a smithy. I just set this whole thing up just for that. Okay. Do that. Oh yeah. We're we are we are talking now. Okay. I'm gonna leave that meat right there, because we'll use that again. Do a little bit more inventory management. And then I'm gonna catch up on chat while we're like, you know, riding out somewhere. Alright, I only need like 100 meat, and I think that's making me pretty overweight. Man, it is so, so good to be able to have desert cloth right now. <laughs> All right, can we make more? Yes, more tranks. That's good. All right, what is radar? What gender are you? Female. Okay. So we brought you another female friend. That's fine. All right. And we're going to whistle you guys passive. Let's go out there and find a male. And uh, we'll be breeding gerboas already. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Let's see. I could use a little bit of food. I'm going to just eat some berries real quick. We'll save the meat for emergencies. We are out of water, so we'll fix that. It is so nice living at an oasis and having this right here. Like, I love it. Okay, here we go. So we got enough to make quite a bit of desert cloth. I'll have to see if anybody else could use any. Um, but we are still... Is this a male by any chance? How are you doing there, little guy? Got plenty of food. Awesome. Okay. And it's a female. Alright. <laughs> so by the time we're done with this, we're going to have a bunch of gerboas. Like every single one of those can breed. That's awesome. Okay, let's see here. I want to expand that trap, make it bigger and wider and uh, easier to trap stuff in. But for now, we're just going to do this. Oh, it's a baby Anki. <laughs> So, I can't tame that. I really wish I could. I would love to tame that Anki. Oh, okay, that's a baby racer. Wow. Now that would be a convenient thing. Man. But, I don't have the taming license, so I can't. That, so, uh, yeah, I, I guess I should try to explain to you guys in a second. Once we find this metal node without everything that's going to kill us right there. All right, I'm just gonna park myself right here, ready to launch if something attacks. I don't like you growling there, buddy. Okay, that was a lot of metal right there. <laughs> All right, dumping the stone. Can I get more? No, I'm already overweight. All right, let's just get out of here. So I really need a better wolf. That is objective number one, really, is to find a male wolf that's got better stats, or a female wolf that's got better stats. I mean, I'll take it. But, um, 
we could really use some uh, serious wolves, and I want to be breeding these as soon as possible. So, but first of all, first of all, you know, while we can, while it's not scorching, freezing, while I'm actually able to survive, I am absolutely going to get this metal back to my base. And let me catch up with chat a little bit. Yeah, how are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, Jerboas are really cute, very useful for weather. They're awesome little tames. I think I might actually keep that other one. Uh, they can reduce your weight too, because you can have them carry stuff for you. And uh, once I actually know which, uh, which call is which, I'll actually be able to predict the weather too. So, <laughs> so far I don't know exactly what each one, each different one means. Oh, I should bring back some wood too. That would be actually really a good idea. But I want to find a dire wolf. I want to find a male dire wolf. And, uh, you know, since I can't tell yet, I don't have a spyglass, I, I'm tempted to try to go get some crystal. What do you guys think? Should I go for crystal and get a spyglass first or try to tame? I know where to get crystal. It's really dangerous. But, uh, you know, I could also go looking for a wolf, which is also very dangerous. I mean, there's there's nothing in Scorched Earth that's not really dangerous. Let's, let's be honest here. So, uh, yeah, but this wolf is basically just for speed and agility. And uh, I've got nothing but stamina put into it. I tamed it at, like, level 25. It was, it was not great. But I'd love a higher level wolf if I can get one. And let me know, you guys, um, once you're able to see well enough, I might gamma down a little bit so the game looks better. Okay. You know what? Let's let's see if we can get some crystal. I'm not seeing as much nasty stuff up here as I expected. And if we can get up the slope well enough, I gotta be real careful of tight spots, because I can sprint to get away from things, but if I get stuck, I'm toast. And there's always something coming to kill you on Scorched Earth. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That's just beautiful, isn't it? All right, we still got enough water, so let's just let's just see if we can make it up the slope a little bit. All right, we got a buzzard or a vulture, if you will. All right, it's gonna get some space from those. I saw an RG back here earlier. All right, let's see if we can make it a little further though. Okay, an Anki that's still alive. Oh, a family of Ankies. That's probably why they're still alive. Okay, check it out, Crystal. You know what? Let's do this. Let's get ourselves... A, don't, don't punch crystal. Bad idea. Alright. Talk about painful, right? So, uh, yeah, we're actually... Uh, we are going... Everything is going very according to plan so far. As I say, that uh, RG is, like, right there. Uh, but so far... So far, we're actually getting everything we needed. Alright. I love that sound. It's just... It's just uh, it's very satisfying. Oh, nope. What what is what is that? What is that sound? There's a UD and a whole bunch of Carnos right below us. I've said this before. Never ever say out loud things are going well in Ark. Just don't do it. <laughs> You're just asking for trouble if you do that. <laughs> We are going to... Uh, don't. This is no time for pooping. This is no time for pooping. We're going to get out of here as fast as we possibly can. But we've got enough crystal to make a spyglass now. And I'm pretty sure I've got everything else I need. And I'm 99% sure I unlocked it. Um, we're, we're about to find out if that was all a waste of time. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't. So once we get a spyglass, we can actually check the levels of enemy wolves. Hopefully, soon to be friend wolves. And we can see if we can tame something. So what do you guys think? Should we go hunt for a male wolf for our female? See if we can start breeding wolves on day two? Is it day two? I have been losing track of time, I tell you what. But, uh, you know, there's only been, I mean, less than 10 in-game days for sure. And we're, we're doing pretty well considering. So, um, all these Jerboas are so cute. I, I really do need to learn how to speak Jaboa, though. I need, like, a uh, Duolingo for Jaboa. Yeah, I, I think with this much chatter, something's about to happen. <laughs> All right, so let's get our crystal. And do we have Spyglass? Yes, we do. 
Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Bork. That's awesome. Really appreciate the uh, super chat. That is awesome. Yeah, thank you. Honestly, guys, I, I am so, like, it really blows me away every time one of you guys gives a tip. It is just, it is awesome. I really appreciate it. Yeah. But, yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna, don't, don't want to get too distracted. All right. We got wood, fiber, um, you know, uh, let's see here. Hide. We, we've got quite a bit of hide now, now that we've actually got some, uh, some power to us, right? I'll make a spare, actually, come to think of it. And, uh, yeah, we're cooking up some metal. That's very exciting. All right, let's get this maybe on hotbar number that. <laughs> number that. All right, so we got a lot of good stuff in our bank right now. I'm going to fill up on water again, and uh, let me grab one of these guys. All right, so does anybody know what that particular um, chirp means? Oh, now I'm cold. Okay. Okay. I should probably bring back some wood next time I'm out too. I kind of want to risk it. Maybe get, maybe stay relatively close to the to the base. But let me know in the comments. Can you guys hear the jerboa? And do you know? Oh, oh no no, this is not good. Um, please don't mess me over, Ark. Please tell me I can break this. Whew. Okay. Crisis averted. That almost freaked me out. Okay. So, yeah, anybody that knows what that chirp means, let me know if that's going to be, like, a deadly sandstorm that will kill me, or if that's just rain. I, I honestly don't know. It sounds like a, you know, somewhat happy sound, so hopefully that means rain, right? <laughs> we'll see. So I'll, I'll try to stay relatively close to the base, so if something nasty blows in, I can uh, run back really fast. But I do want to scout out just a little bit now that I finally have... A spyglass! Check this out! Oh, and I found out Krabbytron actually lives right next to my base. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, that is a really good idea. So Krabbytron has a video, a, a video guide on what all the different Jerboa chirping means. And, uh, I think I need to watch that, like, several times in a row until I understand Jerboa better. It's, it's not Duolingo, but it's close, right? So, let's see if we can find something out here. Let me try Gamma 3. Is that is that okay for you guys? Is that too dark, or can you see pretty well? Because um, I think that looks a lot better. It was just getting a little too pasty for me. All right, what do we have up here? <laughs> Risk it for the biscuit, yes. Hey, Wildlife Rescue, welcome. How do you get Scorched Earth in Ascended? It is uh, actually a DLC. And you can download it. Um, I actually should probably put together a guide for that at some point. Oh, baby Morella tops. If only I could tame those. That would be awesome. But honestly, um, with an oasis right next to my house, I'm pretty okay with uh, just grabbing water when I need it. And... Now that I've got a really good source of crystal, I can start making water jars, too. I think I can unlock that relatively soon. Okay. Not seeing a lot of wolves in this direction. What do you guys think? Let me know if you spot one that I don't. Oh, Pego. Oh, Pego. I do not like Pegos. I mean, nobody likes Pegos, right? But I especially... Oh, I hear a wind. Oh, is this the bad one? Oh, no. Okay. Well, now I know that's the bad one. All right, this could be a real problem. Let me see if I can get some shelter. Uh, try to get up where nothing's going to attack me. I can't sprint in a sandstorm. So I'm going to have to wait it out up here with the kangaroo. You are completely right, Kangaroo. I am an idiot. I see that look on your face. Yep. Kangaroo says I'm an idiot. I totally agree. Okay, well. May as well make the best of it. I'm not going to waste another bola. <laughs> Alright, we got a Morella Tops right there. We are so vulnerable right now, you guys. So vulnerable. <laughs> And we can't go anywhere either. Um, 
Yeah, I can't get my stamina back, so the best thing I can do is get over next to a cliff so at least I've got some protection on the other sides. And uh, we're just gonna wait this one out while I catch up on chat, but look how cool this sandstorm looks. Oh my gosh, that is nuts. I don't take damage during a sandstorm, do I? Because that could be a problem. I am so new to Scorched Earth. Um, so I'm gonna stand up here, and I could technically jump down to my base from here. I don't want to do that. But I'm just gonna get where I've got a backup plan in case everything goes absolutely to pot. Okay. We are chilling out, waiting out the sandstorm, and now I can catch up with chat at least, so that's, there you go. All right, we're in position. Ready to jump if we have to. <laughs> Definitely hope we don't have to. So if you jump off a, off a cliff with the tame and you jump off the tame at the last second, you can uh, avoid taking any damage. All right, what is that? It's a pink kangaroo, we're okay. Okay, time to catch up on chat. Hi guys, how are you all doing? <laughs> How is everybody doing tonight? I, I always enjoy hanging out with all of you, and it just, it still really means so much to me that, uh, you know, you guys are willing to hang out with me on your Saturday night. So, uh, what time is it for everyone? Are people in, you know, Eastern time zone or just staying up ridiculously late because it's Saturday? Let me know in the comments. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sandstorm, blizzard, sandstorm, I'm catching up on chat. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, so, it would have been very helpful if I was keeping up better with chat, <laughs> and I would have been able to tell. You guys gave me fair warning, that was definitely the sandstorm, so. Now I know, it's kind of like a chirpy bark kind of thing. Did I just level up from sitting here? Hey, good job, Wolf. I mean, I think you deserve that too. We're just going to keep putting that into stamina. Oof, all right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> 7 p.m., 9 p.m. It's like almost 11 for me, so I can't stay too much longer. But I do really want to tame a wolf. Like, got church in the morning, you know. But uh, my wife already went to bed because she actually sings in the choir. She's a section leader at a cathedral choir. She's an awesome, amazing singer. And... Uh, but, uh, you know, not the best to do that on no sleep, so she is, uh, I'm trying to be relatively quiet so I don't wake her up from uh, the other side of the house. What is that? Deodon. Oh, oh, there's a wolf. Okay. Okay. We got a couple of wolves. I really don't want to mess with a Deodon, though. All right. What do we have? Female, level 50. Male, 130. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some more bolas. <laughs> and we're going to, because two is not enough for this. It's actually a great time to do this tame. Okay, yeah, I need to come from the left side of this rock and then jump across. Yeah, okay. Practicing the trap a little bit. It's, it's not a perfect trap, but it should hopefully work. Rascal Ark! So good to see you, mate! How are you doing? How are you doing in Scorched? I uh, have kept up with some of the videos. I always try to watch yours as soon as I get a chance. So, uh, you know, I'm not just a monarch, I'm also a fan. But uh, it's been a busy weekend, so I've been like barely able to keep up just enough to do this stuff. But uh, yeah, let me get some more bolas going. I have been uh, living, I, I moved into an oasis, and things have been pretty good ever since. Uh, all right, let's see here. What do we need for bolas? Thatch hide, fiber, stone, I think we got enough of that. Let's just grab everything and make like, I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's, we won't do too overweight, but we'll have enough that we can definitely like cover this. So what are, uh, what are you up to right now in the monarchy, Rascal Ark? And do you have um, desert cloth yet? Because I just got to where I can make that, and I'm hoping to bring some to other monarchs. So, okay, what does that Jerboa sound mean? Anybody know? I don't want to go out into another sandstorm. So the sandstorm one was kind of a chirp, right? It was like... 
So this has got to be something else, right? Like a lightning storm, maybe? I don't know. All right, I can see so much better now, though, because it's it's dawn, I think. All right, let's go uh, get those wolves over here. I'm probably going to have to kill that dang Deodon. <laughs> well, Raz, it is a brutal desert out there. And uh, the really sad thing is I died more times in town near the uh, near the town than I have in probably all of my series combined ever. But then as soon as I spawned into the really hard area, I've been doing fine. <laughs> so <laughs> that's that's a thing. All right, let's see if we can just lead this uh, Deodon away. Hey, buddy. I don't really want to, you know, waste anything on him, so let's, uh, let's do this. Always have the high ground, guys. Always have the high ground, as Obi-Wan Kenobi would say. Here, piggy, piggy, pig, 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 pig. Just come on over here. Guys, uh, like the Lion King. Oh, really? Am I, am I that not interesting? I was about to sing that whole song from the Lion King, you know, where he's like... Singing about how he's a tasty piece of meat. Come and get him, you know. Totally pulling that, uh, pull that trick on uh, on Pumba instead. All right, chat. Let me know <laughs> what is that sound. That that. Okay, we got terror birds. That's gonna not help with the tame. All right. Okay, this is actually great for me because they are both fighting, and I'll just help one of them win. <laughs> All right. No, 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 Deodon, no, I didn't want you to win. Oh, this is not good. I forgot how Deodons just heal themselves. Oh, Deodons are the worst. What is he? Oh, he's, he's fleeing. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's totally fine. Just don't come back in the middle of my tame, dang pig. Ah, <sighs> watch him do that. Okay. I'll grab some free hide and check out the wolf. I just know that guy's going to come back at me. All right, that is a beautiful wolf. Level 50 female. What I really want is the male. Is that the black one there? Yeah. Oh, oh, pig is back. All right, all right. Get out of that. Get out of that. Let's go. I mean, I knew that was coming. I just didn't think it would come that fast. It's going to hopefully get a little bit more distance here. Oh man, I love these headphones that my wife got me for Christmas, because uh, I can hear which direction they're coming. Hey, the wolves are coming! That's actually great for me. Here, buddy. Three of them. That's not ideal. And hyenas. A purple hyena. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Whoa, oh, the pig's back! The pig's back! <laughs> okay. Got a little too much attention right now. How are we doing here? All right, all right, wolf is faster. That's good, that's good. All right. I don't know if this is the right wolf, but this is what we're doing here. Okay, you come over here, please. Right here. Hello. Oh, it's the one, it's the 130. Okay, gotta make sure the Deodon's not coming. He's not. All right, we're coming back with some tranks. Would anybody be willing to double check and see how much, um, how many Trank arrows I'm going to need to tame this thing, because... Uh, hello? Hello, Moth. Come here, buddy. <laughs> well, that was convenient. Literally, on my doorstep, here is a bunch of silk. So, uh, yes, I'm going to have plenty of silk to trade very soon. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. All right, slow, slow walk. We are that cool, partner. Yeah. I don't have blue hair yet. I'm very sad about that. Oh. Anybody here ever watch like the old Homestar Runner cartoons? He's like, you gotta have blue hair, man. Okay, so we got Trank, arrows. Let's just get that in our hot bar here. I've got some backup arrows over here, and we're going to start trying to tame a dire wolf. Alright, 
my backup arrows. I'm just gonna take everything, and uh, I'm gonna take some extra water too. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. So my base, uh, if you're, if you guys are just joining chat, my base is designed for parkour. Yeah, hardcore, car hardcore parkour. And uh, the whole thing, I, I am trying to uh, set it up so that nothing can get up to my base, even if it aggro's on my creatures, because you have to actually jump in order to get to it. So, so that's good news. It seems to be working fine, and my my tames can jump, so that's great for me. All right. Let's get us some tranks. Let's try to tame this wolf. So uh, if you guys are wondering, the reason I was able to trap him is because I designed a pitfall trap instead of... There we go. Uh, you don't have any friends around, do you? He has friends around, just not close enough to him. That's what we want right there, okay. I have the high ground, Wolf. Nothing you can do about it, buddy. All right. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on his uh, health and all that stuff. So I've got the uh, tranks in my hot bar, and I'm gonna try to give him a few seconds in between shots. I don't want to kill him. I'm trying to avoid headshots, and uh, we'll just see how we do here. Try to shoot him right in the rear. And hopefully nobody gets hurt too bad. <laughs> he looks so amazing, doesn't he? He's like on fire. Oh man, if I can tame this and start breeding it. So I'm giving it a few seconds in between tranks because uh, trank arrows take a few seconds to get their full effect. So uh, if you wait about five seconds, counts five in between uh, your shots, you are going to uh, have the most effective amount of torpidity applied for each shot. Alright, you getting bloody? Not too bad. So, if he gets too much damage, um, if he gets too much blood on him, I am going to give him a nice little snack. Me! So, uh, if you've got a carnivore that's dying, they actually will heal if they eat something. And so, you can, uh, you can run up to them, let them eat you, Okay, I think he's running now. Are you running away? I I want to find out, but I also don't, because if I run up and start whacking him, and he's not running, one hit is going to really hurt. Okay. You guys know how I love... Oh, nope, he's mad. Okay. Still mad. Still mad. It's like my cat. She'll be so sweet, and I'll be petting her. And then she's suddenly like, nope. No more. You're done. And she'll just be like, nah. And just give a, a nice gentle nip. Just enough. <laughs> Shot him in the foot. I used to be an adventurer wolf till I took an arrow to the knee. Is he running now? I really like clubbing creatures, but I also. Okay, I got a hit in. I also really. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't want to get bitten. I mean, that's fair, right? Alright. The boomerang does a lot more damage to the wolf, but he seems like he doesn't have a lot of blood overlay, so maybe I can actually hit him a couple times. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> really don't want this guy to die on me, so... Arrow to the knee! Alright, you guys. Can you think of a good wolf name if we pull off this tame? Which I, I think we probably will. But if you can think of a good wolf name that has some kind of a tie-in to Skyrim, you know, the whole arrow to the knee thing. Does anybody know the name of that adventurer that used to be an adventurer until he took an arrow to the knee? Probably half chat is like, what, I don't have any clue what you're talking about, dude. <laughs> so. so the reason I'm crafting arrows on the fly is I didn't look up how many arrows it's going to take to knock this guy out. So um, what I'm doing instead is crafting arrows as I fire them, so I've got the rest of the tranks still in my inventory, unused, so I can use those to knock him out. Um, making me a little bit worried over there, buddy. I'm starting to think that boomerang was a big mistake, but I just... It's, it's part of my style, you know? 
please go to sleep? Yes! Okay! Wolf is asleep. I was starting to get worried about this. Alright. Let me put him on the taming tracker. Okay. No. Oh wait, hold on a second. No. Okay. Um, 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 um. Does anybody know how to sort this? Cause somebody was telling me... Tames in progress? Maybe if I remove that? Hmm. Oh, okay. I tell you what, guys. Every time. It works every time. If something's not working, turn it off and turn it on again. <laughs> I... I have been a professional tech guy for a long time, <laughs> and probably 70% of the problems. Just turn it off, turn it on again, it'll be fine. Okay, um, now I need some prime meat, and I hate to say this, but I just found my prime meat. Sorry, little guy. That was actually very lucky. the cliff. I feel so bad killing babies, especially like such a cool color baby. But, you know, nobody nobody can tame these yet. Okay. We're good here. Was this the sandstorm chirp? 120 prime, dude. Okay. I'm staying with my tame. I gotta stay with him. Gotta keep him unconscious. I'll catch up with chat um, while we're while we're keeping an eye. I'm gonna try to get his hunger up so we can hopefully like starve tame him a little bit. Um, that is your best bet for keeping him at max taming effectiveness. He's pretty unconscious. I, I narked that guy up with an awful lot of tranks. So he should be out for a while. So um, I think it's a good time to chill. Chill for a minute, catch up on chat. It's a late night stream. So yeah. Oh, nice! Tonight was spent crafting desert gear. It took Rascal Ark six hours. Whew. Yeah, that desert gear is brutal! I tell you what! It is nuts! Oh, thank you, Cap! I really appreciate it! 44 for headshots. That was 44 arrows. And that is, like, almost spot on. I, I threw it off a little bit with the, uh... Threw it off a little bit hitting it with a boomerang a few times. If you got an oil jug bug, we may as well get some oil, right? I mean, while we're here, let me scout around a little bit, make sure nothing's going to come eat our wolf. That Deodon seems to be nowhere out here. Maybe he got killed by something? I don't know. Um, he was out here. We have a beautiful female wolf out here, by the way. Um, I'm not quite confident enough for a double tame in this situation because the trap's kind of small and the wolf is, you know, unconscious. And sometimes another wolf will try to, like, bite your trap and might actually hit the wolf. So I think I'm just going to chill for a minute and uh, let's see. What would you guys like to do? I can go get some more metal. Um, probably going to get rid of this vulture because I do not like him. Um, that's not a bad sign, right? When a vulture is, like, just circling around you. Know how hard he's gonna be to kill? So, wow, that was that was painful. <laughs> I'm sitting here with some of my YouTube heroes in chat, and I just like completely missed that. Let's see if we can make up for it with a couple headshots. Maybe. It's a very small target. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay, so we'll just uh, you know get some hide from that. Get a couple of our arrows back. If you didn't know this, you can step on something that you shot. 42 spoiled meat. I actually could use some of that. Um, maybe I'll gather some berries so I can make some more tranks while we're at it. Let me check on our wolf here, see how he's doing. How hungry is he? All right. Got plenty of torpor. Um, he's got a decent amount of health and a decent amount of food. Okay. We're actually doing pretty well. Um, yeah, maybe I'll actually start gathering some stuff over here while we're at it because... Uh, 
you know, may as well, right? Um, so I'll grab some narco berries, because I am pretty short on narco berries. So my probably next stream, I'm going to try to tame an iguanodon, because we... Oh, there's the sandstorm. Okay. I mean, I don't really need to go inside, because we're in pretty good shelter. We've got a cliff above us and some other good stuff here. I do want to stay close enough to reach my wolf in case he needs some more drink. So uh, let me just catch up on chat while we're waiting this out. And at least now we know what the Jerboa means when there's a sandstorm coming. So, hey, no worries. You know, I have streamed at such random times, and um, I don't even know when I'm going to be able to stream. I didn't know I was going to be able to stream tonight, but uh, that's that's just how things have been right now. Working a full-time job and then some, and, uh, you know, doing YouTube on the top of that. So, I've just been trying to, trying to fit it in where I can. Uh, let's see, we're doing okay for hydration. I'm just going to gather some berries So while we talk. So, uh, yeah... White Run was the guy from the town who took an arrow to the knee. Thank you, Chad. You are so helpful. You're giving me survival tips that are helping me, like, survive, but you're also giving me naming tips, which I really need. So what do you guys think? If we contain this wolf, do you want to call him White Run? I'm going to go ahead and drink this before it's completely gone. <laughs> that had, like, no water in it. That's so sad. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just grab some more stuff while we're at it. I should probably, like, move a box over here, because I'm, like, pretty overweight. What can I put on my wolf? Um, the last thing I want to do is, like, get overweight and be in big, serious trouble, so. Uh, let's see. I actually care about sand now. Let me just dump some berries. I feel I feel like such a waste doing this, so. By the way, uh, Cap and Raz, um, if you have any trouble getting past my trap, um, oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Be very quiet. I'm hunting moths. Oh, they always move at the last second. Okay, I'm just gonna walk away in shame now. <laughs> that was so sad. <laughs> alright, alright. Yep. Why is my taming tracker not showing? Hold on. Really? 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 That's not what I want to do right now. Okay. Um, tames in progress. Okay, disable, enable. This this would be very helpful if I could like. There we go. Okay, he's back again. Still pretty unconscious, and I'm not seeing the thing. Does anybody have any tips on that? Like, I haven't really seen this happen before. Oh, okay. We're back to all the creatures that I have tamed already. Yeah, I don't know. All right, he's right there. He's got enough torpor. We'll just we'll just leave it at that for now. <laughs> this moth is just taunting me now. He's just taunting me. <laughs> okay, maybe if he's on the ground, I can actually hit him. My last bola, you guys. Never use up your last bola. <laughs> but hey, I need the silk. I need tons of silk because I want to make all the monarchs that need it desert cloth armor. Because this stuff is like. Desert Cloth is life, man. It is life. It's the only way to survive out here. Okay, let me drop some stuff off at the box, and then we're going to come back, check on our wolf, and I'll catch up on chat a little bit. So, yeah. Actually, we could uh, we could go get some more metal while we're waiting for the wolf. I'm going to just put this in the box here for now. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember, if I store this on my wolf, he will prioritize eating the regular meat, right? Like, he won't start eating that immediately. I think that's how that works. Trying to remember. I'm I'm a little rusty on a few things here and there. Here we go. And a massive amount of silk. Love it. That's so awesome. I'm going to kill every moth I see. And there are quite a few up here, which is great. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> how are we doing? Nokia, nice. Is that the sandstorm chirp again? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. It's a chirp for the sandstorm, right? Okay. Let's just drop off some stuff. We're gonna get our, uh... Actually, let's get the sand in our mortar and pestle. Drop off some more stuff. I do need some more bolas. I am just so all over the place tonight. It's late. It's been a long week. What can I say? All right, let's see. Did I use up all my stone? Really? No way. 
I could have sworn I had plenty more stone than that. Okay. Well, <clears throat> there's only one way to get more stone. All right, let's do this. It's going to drop some of that off. I'm getting a little bit worried about the lag. I have so much fiber. That's the only quest I've been able to complete so far, is getting tons of fiber. All right. But when you're gathering just ridiculous amounts of cacti, you get lots of fiber. Okay, get that all in here. Let's go check on our tame. Why am I so overweight? Is it the arrows? Uh, let's see here. It is a lot of arrows. A lot of hide. Okay, let's grab just a little tiny bit of hide so we can make some more bolas. So I do need those a lot. Okay, it's the sand, probably. Okay. I meant to put the sand in here. By the way, this is how I've gained, like, all these levels, is the entire time I've been playing, I've had non-stop crafting of sand, and... Let's see here. I'm gonna get a little bit more health. I'd love to survive a couple hits. Is this a uh, heat wave coming? I really need to uh, go back and watch Krabby Tron's video on how to understand your Jerboa. All right, let's go see how we're doing. You guys know that uh, the cat expert, uh, cat whisperer, uh, Jackson Galaxy? <laughs> I need one of those for Jerboas, you know? It's like slow blink at your Jerboa to tell him you love him. By the way, if, uh, if, you, if you meet a cat and you go like this, just like that. That's that's a cat's way to say I really like you. So you can make friends with any cat that way, even if they don't really like you that much. All right, um, torpidity, pretty good so far. Um, I don't even know how long it's gonna take for this guy to tame, but I am definitely gonna wait it out and start breeding him immediately tonight. So uh, let's get over here. Rainstorm, maybe? We're about to find out. I'm watching the horizon for that massive storm cloud, that giant dust cloud that comes up. And I guess while we're doing this, um, I'm gonna give him some food. Let's start the tame. Let's just see how we do. How much taming do we have here? 60? 80? Woo! Okay. Okay. We got this! Okay, what was it again? I've already forgotten the name. Um, White Run. White Rin. <laughs> Is it a white horse? No, but we're doing this anyway. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be so confused. Alright, what level did he tame out to? Oh, give me that back. You eat regular meat from now on, buddy. That was a one-time thing. 194. Now we are talking. Okay. And since I'm going to have this wolf on me, um, please stop. Okay, whistle passes. Where is it? Where is it? Stop all. Okay. I'm going to breed these immediately. Like, I'm not even wasting any time. So, all right. Where are we? Where are we? Enable mating. Here we go, and all right, let's do this. Let's get a baby on the way already. Let's put the trap back together, and let's try to get that really cool looking female wolf, because I want that. <laughs> I really want that female wolf. It's down in the valley, I think, but I've, I've got to have the cool colors to breed with. Okay, how are we doing here? All right, 50%. Once that's done, we are off to the races. Let me get some food on this other guy, too. I better be able to remember to put a bunch more meat on these guys. All right, I need to drop off some arrows when we get back, too. All right, how we doing? I love the blue feet on this one, though. I, I, I really want to breed the blue feet. Okay, one hour until a pup. So now, we have a backup already in progress, right? So we have a wolf with a lot of stamina, the female, which has a pup on the way with the stats of this amazing male, at least hopefully some of the stats, you know. Whee! <laughs> it's gonna be a pain getting these guys on and off of our uh, base, but it's all right, it's worth it. All right, he's gotta level up already. I think I'm gonna get, oh wow, this is nice. 
This will be a battle mount right here. <laughs> battle mount. And uh, yeah, okay, okay, that's great. Enough, enough celebrating, all right. So once I get this guy safely parked up onto our base, that's when I celebrate. All right, that's when the mission's done. And I think, whistle passive, stop all, just for extra good measure. And we did it, guys! We pulled it off. We have a level 195 direwolf. How insane is that, right? I kind of wish I had a preserving bin at this point because um, I got a bunch of prime meat and, um, you know, I don't want to lose it. But at least, at least, uh, you know, it's going to spoil fast, but I'm going to try to tame another one while we've got it. So, and at least we can get some more from juveniles, hopefully. So let me catch up with chat a little bit too. Um, see if I've got enough to make uh, some bolas, because I just I feel like I am like going outside without my shoes on if I walk out in scorched earth without bolas. Do you guys ever feel like that? It's uh it's bad news. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get another wolf in here. I'm just gonna go straight for uh straight for extra points and see what we can do. I don't want to push my luck too much, but. If we can get this other wolf in here, we're going to be in great shape. It's a female. It's got awesome colors. I didn't even see the other one that was with them. Oh, you guys, it's a blue jerboa. Nope, 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 nope. No, thank you. No, thank you. Is that a baby saber tooth? Oh, man. I feel bad now, but um, I need this guy out of the way. So we're going to get rid of it. Right. In case you're wondering why I'm doing it this way, my wolf is actually extremely weak. <laughs> it's it's very weak. I am so sorry. Oh, there's there's two saber tooths. I feel so bad right now. Is Krabby Tron online? You guys, actually, is Krabby Tron online? Because I think I remember Krabby Tron has a saber tooth taming license, and there are two. Baby Sabertooth's up for grabs. If you guys in chat can see if Krabbytron is streaming or anybody else who has Sabertooth's. And uh, Krabby is actually my neighbor. She's right next door is where she lives. So if she's close enough on the map, she could actually pop over and tame those guys. And then I don't have to go to bed with so much guilt. Oh, is that an Archaeopteryx or a Microraptor? This is always the question. Where did those wolves go? Also, a very important question. All right. Archaeopteryx. Thank God. Okay. All right, we got terror birds. We got dead stuff. Oh, okay. We're about to be dead stuff if we're not careful. All right, giving these guys some space. Where did the wolves go? Oh, there they are. Okay. That's the one I want right there. All right, what's chasing me right now? Wolves! Actually, that's that's perfect. All right, let's do this. All right, come on, wolves. Come at me, wolf. Come at me. All right. Where'd you go? Where did you go? I thought I heard footsteps, and it freaked me out. Um. Okay, wrong wolf. Wrong wolf. Where's the other? Oh, whoa. What? How did you do that? Not cool. Not cool at all. Now I really want this wolf. Okay. That one's coming at me. Where did it go? This is really freaking me out. <laughs> Where's the wolf gone? Um. <laughs> it was right here. Where is the wolf? <laughs> there he is. Okay, that's the one I don't want. Where's the wolf I want? Oh, okay, okay. It's on. It is on. I could probably jump clear over that trap, but let's not risk it. Alright, come at me, wolves. Come at me, come at me. Okay. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Alright. 
this right here is going to be the mother of all my wolves. Alright. Male level 10. I actually don't even want him, so we're going to eliminate him from the equation. Very carefully. Alright. Stay there. Stay right there. If it was a female, I thought about doing a double tame, but we're 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 not at that point right now. Okay, let's do this. Alright. Well, I am going to have some absolutely beautiful dire wolves up for trade very soon. So, uh, after firing a shot, I always double check to make sure that is a uh, Trank arrow. <laughs> always check the icon. I've definitely made that mistake before in the past, where I fired off a, uh, thought I was shooting a Trank arrow. Man, this wolf is like exactly my colors. I am so excited right now. Okay, we got plenty of Tranks. Uh, my crossbow is getting a little low on health, but this wolf is running in such a way that I'm thinking she might be running away, which would be great for me. Good news is I got my trusty boomerang. Oh, I think that was an accidental headshot. I'm sorry, it was an accident. All right, she's not. She's she's doing pretty well. Not too much blood. Arrow to the knee. Any Skyrim fans in here? Yeah, that's true. I could at least cook the prime meat to help me heal, which would be a better way to keep it from going bad. But I at least want to finish my taming spree first. Are you down? No. Whoop. Always stay away from the pointy end. Here we go. Unconscious. Yes. All right. We're going to wait a few minutes. Come back. And if we can pull this off... We will have the absolute most perfect wolf ever. Did I just see a shadow? It was my Jerboa's tail. I thought it was a wing. I was like, am I going to get attacked by an RG the minute I say that? Because that's that's just how it goes sometimes. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, let me drop off some weight. Um, this is this is going very well. I don't want to uh, I don't want to mess it up, but let's get some more stamina. Wow, I have put like 30 levels into this wolf. 10, 20, something like that. Anyway, I put a ton of levels into it and it's still, oh, look how beautiful that is, wow. It still has less stamina than the one I just tamed. Like no comparison. <laughs> All right, That's, I'm, I'm sorry, Mint. You are going to be a great mother, no offense, but uh, you're not not the toughest wolf ever. Hey, Gen of Games, the 1K Club. I know exactly what you mean. So, Gen of Games has been here watching this channel since we had a thousand subscribers. Like, I, I'm i still blown away every day when I think about the fact... What did I just whistle? Hold on, sorry. Some passive, stop all. <laughs> I did not mean to hit that. Uh, I am still blown away every day that I think about the fact that, like... So many people just hang out with me while I'm streaming, you know? Like, I, I never want to take that for granted, no matter how big my channel gets, because it's really cool that so many real people from all over the place just want to come and hang out over a video game that we love from all over the world, you know? Like, where's everybody from? I'm going to go back and get a little bit more metal while we're doing this. And uh, Krabby or anybody else on the monarchy <laughs> that... Um, has Sabretooth unlocked and can get up here. Uh, that's a uh, baby Sabretooth, just needs a good home. Kitten up for grabs. I've actually adopted three cats that were all rescue cats. Pego, no. No Pego, no. So over Pegos right now. I really wish Deodons would fight with racers. That would be great. So I'm thinking maybe I should unlock crystal and start making water jars to sell because I feel like that would be something that would be very helpful for other monarchs. Oh, we're slow. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. All right. Need to dump some stuff. I should have done this a minute ago. 
10 pounds. Can we run fast now? Fast enough. We're getting out of here. I hate to waste metal so much, but... Krabby Tron! Hello! <laughs> so, Krabby just said in chat, I see you. Let me type real quick. Okay, sorry. I was just telling Krabby there are orphaned baby saber tooths near my base if she's nearby. <laughs> so we'll see. I will feel so much better if we get them a good home and adopt them out. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yes, um, my voice chat has been weird. I think that's the best way to describe it. Um, so I should be able to hear people if they're talking, and I should be able to toggle voice on and off, but it hasn't been working very well. So far, um, I've met a couple monarchs and haven't been able to really talk to them. So we'll see. It's, it's been just kind of in and out this whole time. So, all right, here we go. I need to like style up everything, get myself looking all awesome and all that. Um, all right, let's get some metal baking. We did make it back with quite a bit of metal, so that's good news. Um, let's see. Probably should go check on my wolf and see how we're doing here. All right. Can we use the taming tracker correctly this time? All right, tames in progress. Enable. Disable. Great, okay, so we are, oh. Here we go. That's cool. Favorite POI? That, that's actually really awesome. I haven't used the taming tracker yet in Ark Survival Ascended. So this is really messed up, you guys, I know. But when Ark Survival Ascended launched with just the island, I, I just was like swamped, right? So I had just enough time to make a few guides, and that was it. That was all I could do. So um, I never got to do a Let's Play. I really wanted to, because it's just absolutely beautiful. And I still plan to at some point. I still plan to edit the videos for the end of season three and, you know, tell you guys how we got where we are, you know? <laughs> Let me make some desert cloth just in case um, I run into somebody who could use some. So we'll get a full suit of desert cloth, except the helmet. I didn't unlock that because it's going to be a chore to get pearls right now. So <laughs> five per gold coin, five gold coins per desert cloth. I would probably do a full set of desert cloth for five gold coins and be very happy about it or less, honestly. I'll also take IOUs at this point because I am experiencing right now how amazing it is to have this desert cloth because I'm not burning to death every three seconds. I spent my first two streams just uh, dying of heat more than anything, and I'm loving the fact that I'm actually like alive here. So uh, yeah, so if you guys know any monarchs or you're watching any streams, feel free to let them know that I am going to have some uh, some cloth up for grabs. All right, that's the growl. Does that mean rain? I'm, I'm starting to try to pick up on the Jerboa vocabulary. I really need to get a lot of narco berries and in order to do that. I need less arrows too. I'm just, I'm too overweight. This is just too much. 60 should be fine, right? We've already... We've already got our two wolves unconscious. I think that's all we're gonna try to tame tonight. And then, hold on one second. I'm gonna give Krabby some directions. So, uh, Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can help Krabby out a little bit. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just uh, head on down to the next oasis and take a left. Get straight on past the possum and uh, over there next to that raccoon. Those of you who are not from the U.S. probably have no idea what I just said, but uh, around here, around these parts, we got lots of coons, possums, all that good stuff. Yeah, um... Possums are 
extremely weird, but one of my favorite things I ever saw online was uh, somebody posted a uh, missing poster. Like, you know how they do that with, like, a cat? They're like, found! Very ugly, smelly cat. Seems very angry. And they posted a picture of an opossum. And if you don't know what an opossum is, you should totally Google it and, uh, you know, that's somebody wasn't paying attention, uh, you know, to nature very well. All right. I do realize there's, like, a dead wolf right next to this one. I feel very bad. I feel like she's probably... Oh, okay. I'm going to name it Bluey. My niece and nephew absolutely love Bluey. Like, such a wonderful, wholesome show. I have totally watched it with them, and I have no regrets. So, uh, yeah. Bluey the wolf. Everybody meet Bluey the wolf. I guess I should wish all these guys neutral. Give them a fighting chance. Hold on a second. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Okay, let's get the trap back up in line. Let's get this real quick. And then we're gonna start breeding our second baby wolf. I just realized I should probably be paying closer attention to how long it is. Okay, we've still got 30 minutes before the baby wolf comes. Could somebody here help me with a timer and let me know when 30 minutes is up? Because uh, I would love to actually catch this baby wolf. Uh-oh. Hold on a second. I've, like, these are all in different places, so I'm trying to remember where everything is. Alright, I don't want everybody following me. Alright. Here we go. Okay, you're good. Not everybody else on the base that's safely up on the, uh, on the, the stacks there. Alright, let's get this wolf out into the light. Oh my gosh, you guys. Bluey is beautiful. Look at this wolf. I absolutely love it. I could not have picked better colors, you guys. Although, maybe the light green. Like, these are my colors, you know? It's like a teal. Teal and, uh, you know, it's not quite perfect green. But I got a mint green and a teal green. And red and blue. It's like, it's like these wolves were just meant for me, you know? So I'm sure, at some point, Kaya on Fire will see this stream. And, uh... I will have a wolf for you, first things first, because I know how much you love wolves, especially blue wolves. <laughs> so check that out. All right, so behavior, and we are going to, oh yeah, I should probably disable mating. Um... <laughs> All right, hold on a second. Let's get that mating going too. I'm just gonna pull a late night. I, I want to get these I want to get these wolves breeding. I want to get some baby wolves going. So I'll just uh, I'll just stay I'll I'll just try to be here for when the baby shows up. All right, let me find some good space. This this mountaintop is getting very crowded very fast, isn't it? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to expand my house. So I've been trying to do my building offline because like let's be honest, most of that was just gathering. So uh, okay. I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes. Give me one second here. All right, let's go 30 minutes. You know what? Let's be smart and set a timer for 25 minutes. So we've got five minutes to get ready to catch our first wolf baby. I am so excited, guys. We've got a pack of three wolves. The male, which I'm breeding with all of the females, is almost max level. It's currently 195 tamed. Um, oh, you know, I think Bluey could use a snack. So let's do this. Um, yeah, let's give her health because she's going to be our breeder just a little bit. Uh, let's get, I'm just going to keep everything in the smithy until I get better organized because let's face it, you know, nobody wants to sit here and watch me just shuffle around meat for 20 minutes. So, uh, yeah, let's get some of this stuff in here. Let me have a quick snack. Do I have more, uh, cooked meat? I've got eight. That'll be fine. So mission number one was to tame dire wolves. Um, let me see if Krabby ever, uh, told me Is she... Is she heading anywhere? I don't know. I 
All right, let's see here. I'm checking chat to see if uh, anybody's here. Oh, okay, cool. So chat is keeping an eye on everything and saying that Krabby is getting close to my place. Let me actually grab some desert cloth. You know what? I've got enough. Um, I am, let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna take Mint, my least awesome wolf. And let's see if we can meet up with Krabby and get her some desert gear and show her where to tame a couple of Sabertooths. So, uh, yeah, give me a second here. I realize chat is, like, behind, so what you guys see on the screen already happened, like, a minute ago, usually. Um, especially since I'm streaming in 4K right now. If anybody has a really sharp TV, you will notice. Otherwise, it's just going to be the same. So, this is Krabby's base, right next door. We are neighbors, and, uh, let me see if she's home. <laughs> Alright. Krabby just said in chat, ASG. So maybe I just rode past her and didn't even see her. Let me see if I can find Krabby real quick. Okay, Krabby says she's at my base. So uh, we probably went like this. <laughs> Good timing. Alright, hold on one second. I'm gonna help out Krabby a little bit here, and then we will get back in action. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was a uh, that was a little bit of a weird lag spike there. Okay. Uh oh. He wants. Does he want uh, anything? Oh, you want to be hand fed basic kibble? Okay. Where are you at? Where are you at? Uh, let's see here. I probably should have told Grabby I have two buildings. Um, oh, perfect. Okay. Okay, great. We are going to meet up with Krabby, and uh, I'm going to see if I can turn on voice chat. So just a quick disclaimer, uh, not all of the monarchs keep the same clean, uh, you know, no profanity rule that I do. So hopefully we won't have any issues with anybody the whole season, but just in case, just giving you guys fair warning. Is another baby wolf? The saber down there. Krabby! Oh, yeah. Can you hear me? What? What, what, what? What? I just found this baby wolf. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a baby of my wolf. That's amazing. We're moving up. Hey, it's Noddy. How are you? Hey, Christian Arrow. Okay, why? So I'm supposed I'm to be able to, to toggle chat. chat. Uh, Hold on one second. <laughs> um, let me see. You have to make sure the button is met. Toggle to tap on. Okay. What's your keyboard. meat supply like, ASG? Uh, give me donations to baby, uh, baby give me wolf. one second. Oh, actually, let me do this first. Hold on one second here. Oh, do you have a spyglass? What level is that kitty oh, down Krabby. there? Oh, Krabby. Krabby has, uh, out, wolves ASG's too. That's out awesome. there making wolf orphans. Did he kill this wolf's mother? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, I tamed ASG. this wolf's mother. I killed the saber tooth. Um, okay, hold on a second. Keyboard, where is right. it? I, I need to find the chat key. I'm like fumbling with this. Hold on one second. So anybody who's watching both of our chats, if you can tell Krabby <laughs> that I am looking for oh, the okay. chat right. key. I can't All hear right. ASG. He tamed the mom. Did you tame the mom? Push to talk. Yeah, push to <gasps> talk is supposed bonus? to what, be what, B. What creatures do you have, AS? Okay, hold on a second. Oh, there's a there's a baby wolf down there, a yellow one. What? Is that the is that the baby of your mom? Hold down on. Down there. <gasps> there's a baby saber kitty too. Oh, there's so many things though. What? Oh dang. Okay. This is really weird. I have the key bound. Oh, lightning storm. Lightning storm. You know, ASG, I think we could probably... Oh, there's too many terror birds. You have the key bound, but it's not working. Oh, are you toggling? 
Or are you got it toggled to talk? He tamed the wolf's mother. I've got the baby. Can you hear me now? I'm trying to hold He's it. He's looking for the chat key. You tamed the wolf mom. I think there's another wolf baby down there and a kitty baby. It's bound to be, but not working. Oh, that sucks. I, I kind of hope the doeheads kill those. Uh, or is that a hyena don? Or a baby wolf? What do you think, chat? I can't tell. It's a wolf pup? <gasps> ASG. Where did the yellow cat go? ASG, I'm gonna put a sleeping bag down here. Okay. I'm gonna put a sleeping- I have a sleeping bag on me. <laughs> All right. Wait, what? Oh, thanks, ASG. That's amazing. I'll have the fastest hands in the West. How have you got all this amazing stuff, ASG? Wow. You're the best. Okay, I feel bad. I'm like typing to Krabby while I am uh, talking to you guys. So uh, we are forming some plans. We're gonna try to take out all this nasty stuff down here and see if we can save. Do you save know the level of the saber cat ASG? Uh, let's see here. Uh, six. Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. I'm gonna try to save this wolf. <laughs> Just spread him on out. I gotta save this baby wolf. He's about to die. Those terror birds are fast. Whoa, that's a cool wolf. I want that. Um, don't want the dire the the um Deodon. All right, I gotta make sure not to lead these back to Krabby. I also have a baby wolf on the way, which is a very good wolf. So uh. Yeah, about that. Okay. That thing's busy there. Deodon is still coming. Okay, we need to get some more space. We need to get a lot more space from that Deodon. Okay. If we have a Deodon, things are going to get really dicey. How are we looking now? I think we've lost him. Okay. You know, I keep, like, being like, hey, I'm going to catch up with chat in a second, and then stuff just happens. Okay. Dodicarus, we're good. I realize I probably could have gotten some gold coins for those desert cloth, but I want to help out. And uh, yeah, I really, oh, okay. Deodon is going to be a problem. Hmm. All right, how are we looking for these guys? All right, what's after me now? Ants, that's fine. I already checked, that's an Archaeopteryx. Otherwise, I would not be wanting to hang out down here at all. Okay. ASG is a baller, but I don't know what happened to ASG. Well, that's not good. Okay. Wolf Pup is still out here. That's good news. All right. to try real hard not to hit Krabby. Ooh. My HP is a little on the low side. Oh no, Krabby. All right, we can do this. Yeah. Nice. Good job, Krabby. Sorry. We're not done yet though. All right. Now we gotta get rid of that Deodon. 
And by get rid of, I mean I really want him to go away, but not necessarily actually kill him. Because we need a clear path. Alright, gotta get this wolf away. Krabby is probably gonna go tame that baby wolf, hopefully. If you guys are watching both of our chats, please uh, ask Krabby if she can go ahead and tame that baby wolf. Um, and then we can we can always, if she wants to, we'll, we'll figure out who's gonna keep him in the in the end. But uh, let's let's get out of here first. Make sure everybody stays alive. That's our first priority. Wow, that saber tooth is persistent. Okay, and try to lead him way up here too. Because uh, Krabby is toast when she tries to get back up that cliff, if I don't do this. Uh, hi? Okay, that's cool. He just ran off. Whatever. <laughs> that's not my problem anymore. Alright, uh, where's the Deodon? There he is, great. Okay, let's just do this. I'm so bad at this! These things are so hard to kill, and I don't know what level it is either. So I'm getting ready to run. This is not gonna work. <laughs> he's he's gonna be too high level to kill. I'm gonna try to lead him away from Krabby instead. So I'll take a couple more pot shots while I'm at it, though. Crabby probably thinks I just, like, abandoned her and got, got, uh, sidetracked. Alright, come on. You can always tell the Deodons behind you by those red rings. Alright. Alright, come on over here, Deodon. What is that tail? Thorny dragon, probably? Hopefully. There's much worse things around here. Okay, there we go. Deodon's busy. Oh, not for long. Man, these guys are rough. Okay. Got to get out of here fast. Alright, if you guys are watching both of our streams, please let Krabby know that it should be safe to get up here, but only if she goes fast. Okay. I'm looking for Krabby. And chat, if you can let me know where Krabby is, that would also be awesome. Okay. Stupid Deodon, oh my gosh, this is bad. All right, hopefully Krabby was able to give him the slip while we were here. I really hope she saved that baby wolf and maybe the saber tooth too. We'll see. Oh, there's a stupid Pego. I hate Pegos. And saber tooth. All right, it's 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 getting crazy again. I've got a wolf with the best baby of any wolf right now, so I've got to get out of here safely. And this terror bird is not going to help things. All right, I am out of here for now. Unless you guys tell me Krabby needs help, let me know in chat. That is such a cool looking moth. All right, all right, how are we doing? Okay, nothing's chasing me right now. Oh yeah, I gotta make sure I don't lead anything back over here. Okay. Oh great, dire, oh no, this is not good, terror bird. Gotta, gotta get him away from Krabby. Mm, not ideal. Alright, here's what we're gonna do, dire, uh, terror bird. I am just going to hope and pray that Krabby made it out of here. We're gonna lead these guys away up this way. So I saw a couple numbers, which means Krabby's on that corner. What is that dire bird doing? Okay, that's fine. It seems to have lost interest. It's fine, everything's fine. Uh-oh, that's not a good sound. What is that Jerboa sound? 
These terror birds are terrible. Oh, okay. Thatch. He stole my thatch, that little jerk. Okay. Where's Krabby? What's going on here? Oh no, that's Krabby's! Oh no! I didn't realize that! Oh gosh. That does not bode well. Alright. I'll try to at least save Krabby's Pego. Dang. Wait, no, there's Krabby. There's numbers. Ah. Oh no. I think I was too late. I tried. I tried and I failed, I think. Alright. Terror bird is over there. Okay. I think this rescue mission is not going so well. Alright, do we have a second? Let me check my timer real quick. Okay, we have seven minutes until we need to get back to base because this wolf is about to give birth. Oh man. Alright, what do we got here? Male, level one. Okay. Oh! Protect these two wolves at all costs. We are on a short time frame. Alright, I've gotta lead these guys away. It's so the best thing I can do for Krabby right now is give her a clear path to escape. She probably has no idea what I'm doing, but that's uh that's fine. We'll try to get voice working again later, you guys. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Alright, if I run into that really cool looking Oh, Sabertooth. My gosh, everything is just crazy out here. Okay, there's Krabby. I get the Sabertooth away from her. Okay. She should be fine taking out that wolf. It's a level one. I'm gonna help as soon as I get the Sabertooth away. There you go. You gotta do something else, Sabertooth. Ugh, come on. Sabertooth is so annoying. I really want to help Krabby, but if I go over there right now, I'm going to bring her certain doom instead. Alright, gotta get my stamina back. Gotta get it back. This is no time for pooping mint. Alright, how are we doing for the timer? Five minutes. Five minutes before I have to head back. Oh, I forgot there's a storm coming. That's bad. That's really bad. Okay. Okay, Sabretooth is right... is okay right now. So far, so good. HG, you scared the, the pants off me. Woo! Clear for now. Okay, thank you. I knocked this guy out to level one though. So from what I understand on another server I play on, there's level one diamonds, but I, I spied them with my tech goggles on that server and they had points, like really high points into stuff. Oh, Kaya's 20 minutes behind live! Hey, we're hanging with ASG at his base. We've got baby wolves, Kaya. Oh, baby wolves. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh no, that's right. The Pego pinched my arrows, that little jerk. Okay, can I take this guy? What is he? Level 50. I cannot take a level 50 right now, I don't think. I really need some arrows. All right. 
All right. That thing's about to be a problem. Please, please tell me this is a rainstorm. Oh, that Pego pinched like 50 arrows too. Okay, how are we doing? Oh no, my wolf is hungry. Oh, that's not good, okay. Have some of my cooked meat, wolf. All right, all right. We got three minutes left. Okay, hold on. Need to get some stuff or arrows real quick. We are so low on time, too. Okay. Alright, get some fiber. Don't be overweight. So many things going on right now. Alright. Arrows, craft all. Okay. Man, this is bad. Grabby's right there. I'm almost out of time for my tame. Alright, we're gonna do this. What the? Why are there so many things right now? It's like they're respawning instantly. Oh gosh, okay. I do not want to go down into this valley. Oh man. Okay, gotta give these guys the slip. Get back out of here as fast as I can. I don't know if these babies are even still here. Where's the Deodon? Oh gosh, I gotta get some food on my wolf fast. ASG! There's no torpor meter on this guy! Oh, that's... That's weird. <laughs> well... If anybody in chat has any uh, anything they can give for advice, so I gave all of my meat from my wolf to the baby wolf to keep that one alive, so hopefully that's doing all right. Um, but I gotta get some food back to my wolf really fast. Um, and then it needs to give birth. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I need to figure out what to do here. <laughs> all right. Let's get you up here so you can get food. And... As soon as this thing gives birth, and I get some food on the baby... Alright, alright, gotta get here fast. Whew, okay, we got a lot going on. I'm gonna try to bring Krabby some prime meat so she can tame that thing really fast. Um, alright, let's get this over here. How much time do we have? Six minutes. Uh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, guys. We're gonna do this. I might live to regret this, but I want to help Krabby. And if she doesn't get that wolf out of there fast, she is in big trouble. Uh, if you guys are in chat, please, uh, and you're also in Krabby's chat, please let Krabby know. Um, there's a Deodon very close by, and she should get back to the wolves as fast as possible. <laughs> Alright, Krabby, where are you? Oh, she tamed it! Good! 43. Okay, well, that's, that's alright. Let's take it back to the other creatures we have. Oh, look at how pretty wolves ASG! I feel terrible not being able to chat. I need to like figure something out for next time. I'll I'll do some testing with another monarch before. Oh. oh man, that was nuts. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get that baby wolf down there, the yellow one. Okay. I would help more, but I can't stop and explain. My wolf is about to give birth. <laughs> she cannot be running around right now. Whew, okay. All right, let's do this. All right. We're gonna put the baby, like, maybe right over here. And I sure hope. Okay, I need to find a space. Ha <laughs> ha. 
right. <laughs> I must seem so weird in chat. <laughs> Everybody whistle passive, just in case. Oh man, you don't appreciate you don't appreciate voice chat until you don't have it, right? <laughs> oh man, I'm glad Krabby had a uh, had a sleeping bag. It's not true for you tonight. What four teams did I get? I got wolf, sabers, pegos, and morella tops. Oh nice, that's a good spread there. Are either of my wolves females? That's a boy, and uh, this one is a girl. I don't think I'd be able to. Uh, you haven't seen bright colors on Essie yet. You haven't been over fifty percent in five years. That's amazing. My frame rate is uh, on the struggle bus here. ASG, I failed the part four. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, I'm like typing in chat here, and you guys can't see chat. I'm so sorry, I feel bad. Okay, there we go. So we'll get some water. Uh, I don't know if it's worth raising a, a child of a level 5 wolf. A 15 wolf. <laughs> True. Did you want to tame any of the other creatures there, ASG? Because there was a lot of heat up there. So it's all gone? Well, I'm glad, Carthen. It sounds like you're in a much better <laughs> place. Lots of heat. Yeah. Okay, um, while we're uh, safely at ASG's base, I'm just going to check in on Mr. Crab. Hold on. And he's progress. <laughs> Alright, looks like Krabby Tron is uh, taking a minute. Okay, well that was dicey, wasn't it? So, uh, let's see, did our wolf give birth yet? Could be any second now. How are we doing here? One minute, 55 seconds? Alright. Almost there. 96%, that's so awesome, you guys. We are about to have our first baby wolf. That's so great. Okay, let's see here. All right. Um, I'm trying to decide what what uh, stats I want. I haven't been dying at all, so maybe I'll get a little extra health. I mean, that's that's so weird for me to do that. I could probably use some melee now that I think about it. But all right, so Krabby's down there. I'm gonna see if I can get her a little care package, um, like a spyglass. That would be extremely helpful. Let's see here. What else do we have that could be good? I don't think I have enough metal for metal tools. Wait, let's see here. I can do a metal pick though. That will be so helpful. Okay, we'll do that at least. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> we got a heat wave. That's not good. <laughs> See where did Krabby go? Yeah, what level is this baby wolf? Level fifty. That is not bad. All right, let's see. <laughs> All right, man. I wish voice chat had worked.
<laughs> oh man, I wish I had a better way to chat, but uh, that's all good. Let me catch up with chat with you guys too while Krabby's doing her thing. And I gotta keep an eye out, my baby's about to be born any minute. Alright, oh, oh, wait. Here it is, here it is. Alright, alright, where is this? Yes! Check it out, you guys. 130, what are the stats? Oh, health and stamina, yeah! Look at that, that's amazing! Did he get any cool colors? No, but... We have our first baby direwolf, you guys. That is so amazing. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye on his food. I'm actually baking. Okay, hold on a second. Let's see if we can disable mating here. I don't want any extra babies popping up when I don't want them. All right, looks like Krabby just went in the house. I'm still sizzling in here, man. Oh no, now I've cooled down. That's good. Maybe we can try and figure out the the bot. Mr. Krabby's stroking his mustache. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do the giveaway. No, I'm not super hot anymore. I'm good. That's it good. sounds like a challenge. It it's the struggle bus is real ASG. I'm not gonna lie. What's the story with the drops? They've removed um, any blueprints <laughs> or good things hey, from the drops. Hey, Cole Parmenter, um, it's so good to see you. Yeah, I think, I mean, I'd love if we're both and like, Forge, uh, but I need to trade. I can't just take stuff from you. Um, what tames do you have? Is there a tame that you need? Actually, yeah, let's see if we can get Hang a Discord. On, why did I type that? I didn't type that. Huh? Hold on one second, oh. guys. I'm going to see if I can Mr. just hop Krabs in Discord. Mr. Krabs impersonating me? Hold on a sec. Did that work? <laughs> let's see if we can do this. Can I hop on Discord? Uh, yeah, I can. Oh, uh, which chat should I meet you in? Let's see here. I'm going to try to do this and see I if this works. Go Give into... me one second, guys. And I also just realized it's like uh, midnight. I'll be in just chilling ASG. All no, right, I'll be in not that one. See if uh, I see if live I streaming. Hold on. All right. I'm see. in the live streaming channel. Okay, Krabby, can you hear me? Hello. There we go. Okay. So awesome. Okay, cool. So actually, my chat cannot hear you because I just had to connect through my phone, which is going to be the fastest thing to do. Oh. Hold on a second. Can you hear me now? Is that better? Okay, there we go. I'm coming in through my headset on my phone because that was the fastest way I could pull up Discord without like crashing the whole thing. So, um, yeah. So I, I don't have a ton of supplies. I just got my Forge and Smithy put up like an hour ago and uh, then I immediately tamed I do though, so if you'd like one, I'd be happy to make one and, uh, you know, maybe trade that or... Okay, yeah. Sounds good. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Would you be interested in trading a Morella Tops for some stuff? Because I could really use that for berry harvesting. That'd be amazing. Awesome. Okay, no problem. Yeah, keep me posted. Okay, awesome. That does. Okay, sounds good. Well, I'll get to work on those, and um, you know, I've got I've got a little bit of metal going, but I'm working on getting more. So keep me posted on anything else you need, and if I see any more babies, I'll let you know. Yeah, no worries. I figure it probably will, and I'm I'm working on getting iguanodons as my next thing. So I'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah. I did. I had, y you know how the whole time I kept saying, like, I really ex, yeah. So do you remember I was the one that was like, I'm just worried somebody's going to get only really bad tames and be in really big trouble. Uh, and then I got all the good ones. So yeah, I can't believe it. But um, yeah, so I'm actually, uh, I'm, I'm working on breeding Jerboas. I'll have some more of those. Um, I've got a 195 wolf I just tamed on the stream. 
and it's the male. So I'm breeding him with all the females. We just had our first uh, baby over here. It's a 130, so I'm gonna work on breeding. Well, thank you, and congrats on yours too. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe outside, uh, over over there in a the bush, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's that's good. That's good. Thank you. Perfect. Good. 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 Good manners. Good manners. All right. Are you um, baking to death, by the way? Because this is the first time I have been not immediately dying all the time. It seems to only work if I close the door. Nice. That is so helpful. Oh boy, I think the chirping is a sandstorm. All right, if you need to get back to your base, I'm actually gonna have to wrap up in a second anyway because I just ran out of time. But it is so good to see you. Yeah, that's so cool. Well, great to see you, Krabby, and thank you so much for stopping by. And I, I, because I just realized it's past midnight, and that's uh, not not the best idea. But yeah, that's awesome. Oh wait, actually, never mind. I just realized I got 12 minutes until this wolf gives birth. I'm gonna wait for the baby, but then I'm gonna log off. So I probably should actually wrap up the stream though. Sounds good. Well, glad to see you. That was a really fun rescue mission attempt and keep me posted if you see anything I can tame. Uh, and I'll keep you posted if I see any babies you can tame too, so. Oh yeah, back back backstory on that cat. So I um, accidentally, or, well, I, on purpose, orphaned uh, their their the two little tiny uh, cats. So I killed a saber tooth, and it had two little ones that popped up as I was like taking it out, so I could tame the wolf. And then I was like, oh, there's a couple of free babies. So I I was gonna see if we could grab those, but then they jumped off the cliff, and that was just not a good place to be. So, <laughs> yeah. But hey, made for made for some fun times, right? <laughs> so. Yep. Sounds good. Well, I am glad. Actually, it should be pretty safe, and if you jump them up onto this platform, it'll be especially safe. You're welcome to do that if you want. Alright, good deal. Alright, well everything- this should be probably the safest place on Scorched Earth, so at least there's that. So you're welcome to, uh, you're welcome to do that. <laughs> All right, well, good to see you. I'm glad we're neighbors, and uh, we'll see you soon. All right, let me see if I can get game chat back on. Hold on a second. All right, so I think I think my uh, audio just overrode, overrode game chat. I'm going to try something, you guys. I'm going to see if I can get the baby into the house. I don't know. Actually, the pathing should be improved, so let's see if we can pull this off. So I'd much rather have my baby wolves safely in the house, and then when they're too big to get out, I'll just like, you know, break break down the house a little bit. Okay, uh, let me turn off my headset from my phone and see if this gets the game. Okay, can you guys hear the game audio again? And now I can actually hear that little guy freaking out. Okay. I think this might be as close as I can get this guy. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can change his behavior a little bit. Um, all right, behavior, where's follow distance? Follow distance, lowest. All right, see if I can get him right into the corner. And stop, perfect, okay. All right, he has stopped. Let's make sure he's out of food, oh boy, okay. Um, that's actually a problem, okay. Eat some more food quick, little guy. I didn't I forgot about how fast they go through food as babies <laughs> oh I don't have a nanny so I'm really hoping they'll make it through the night I mean if all else fails how long is it until they can um wait, how long is it until she can breed again does it usually it shows on the tooltip uh let's see oh H okay ready to mate in four hours three hours wow okay that's actually awesome Bluey, why are you standing like that? That's kind of weird. Okay, you stand here. There we go. All right, I'll make like a proper house that I can actually like park wolves in better later. But for now, we're just gonna make do with this. So I'm gonna catch up on chat. I always say that and things get crazy, but I'm gonna catch up on chat a little bit and then we'll get back to uh, get back to it. And then I'm gonna actually need to get to bed because uh, it's been oh, a moth. <laughs> Look, a bird! <laughs> I, I, uh, I get sidetracked easily in Ark. 
Oh, really? He totally dodged that. I really need to practice my bolas. It's so hard to hit something from so far away with a bola, though. All right, we'll craft some more stuff soon. Okay, well, we have eight minutes until this wolf gives birth. And now he's just sitting here. All right, let me catch up on chat a little bit here, you guys. Man, it has been such a crazy, uh, crazy episode, hasn't it? Wow, this has been so fun hanging out with all of you. We have tamed an almost max level wolf with really good taming effectiveness, and he is now a level 195. We have a 195 dire wolf now. Oh yeah, I better make sure everybody has enough food to make it through the night. All right, I'm keeping him with 200 because I absolutely need him to survive. Okay, Bluey definitely needs some food too. Man, I'm actually gonna really need to get some more food. <laughs> I want to keep like a hundred food on each of our wolves. I thought I had more food than this. Did it all spoil? It probably did, man. It is actually going to be really hard to keep a bunch of carnivores alive out here. So that's a thing. All right. Oh, good. We got another 300 in here. Wow, that's sandstorms a brewing, isn't it? Okay. Just going to fill that up as much as we can. Babies eat so fast when their births born and then they start to slow down a little bit. So. Okay, so let's catch up on chat a little bit. Let me throw my Jerboa down. And I, I just realized I don't think I've fed either of my Jerboas, have I? Um, you're probably a pretty hungry guy. Oh, you. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. I'm going to put all the stats into weight because you can actually use a Jerboa as a backpack. It reduces your carry, like the weight of the stuff you're carrying. All right, let's just do this for now. Let everybody say it, you know, survive through the night. And let me catch up on chat a little bit while we're watching this oasis in the sandstorm. So, yes, I am very sorry um, that you guys weren't able to hear Krabby and uh, we were having all those audio issues. I'm gonna try to work on that. Um, but yes, it is so good to see you, Cole Parmenter, one of our oldest and best channel supporters since very early on when this channel was tiny. And I am so grateful to have you join us, Cole. This It's so awesome. This is actually really cool to watch this sandstorm blowing through from here. Oh, man. Okay, I really appreciate all of your help, chat, with helping us uh, work out that crazy uh, communication breakdown with Krabby. You guys made that possible for us to at least get Krabby back safely, and uh, we were able to have Krabby tame a really cool-looking wolf, so that's awesome. Um, so I'm actually playing on a... Uh, custom built computer um, that uh, I, I used a Corsair build kit for my computer and I've got an NVIDIA 4090 graphics card it's I love it um, so I'm actually playing and streaming in 4k right now I put meat on the wrong wolf thank you guys for letting me know that's probably why this guy was so hungry <laughs> I wish I could keep up with chat better while playing. I really, uh, really need to work on that. But, uh, here we go. Okay, so everybody, I think, has food now. Yep. Let me actually tap this off at least, at least a hundred meat. So, let's get 40 meat here. Because this is the coolest looking wolf. This is my high stamina wolf. And let's just do a hundred meat on this one. All right. And I actually need to wrap up the stream. I just realized I need to go right now. <laughs> so, it is so good seeing all of you. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all have a great night. And we'll have this baby wolf. We'll get everybody in good shape. And we'll see you all in the next stream where we're going to do some more crazy stuff. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Make sure if you subscribe to this channel, ring that bell for all notifications, or you'll probably miss when I stream next, because I'm not 100% sure myself. And be sure to give a thumbs up on this stream if you enjoyed it. It is so good to see all of you guys.